bags were whore lies. Hey guys, Rob from Georgia here with you. I'm your Wednesday night host for Body Bags. It is week 293 and I bring you Ruggiero Diodato's 1980 Cannibal Holocaust. Yeah, Cannibal Holocaust. Um, let's just start with some of the cast, I guess. Uh, Robert uh, Kerman as Professor Monroe, Salvatore Basile as uh, Chaco, of course, Carl York as Alan Yates, Francesca Cardi, uh, Faye Perry Perkman, I guess, uh, as uh, Jack and uh, Luca Barbaraschi, maybe, as Mark. Anyways, um, uh, let's just, um, ah, man, I, first of all, First of all, what a film. Uh, the score, the cinematography, um, it is, I mean, this film, man, uh, the fearlessness of Ruggiero Diodato and uh, his, his uh, not holding back and just uh, really delivering the goods on a vision that is, um, realized I guess um, at the center piece of this uh, film is of course a uh, pretty simple plot you got a bunch of journalists who want to go down into the Amazon um, and uh, film a documentary on uh, the cannibalistic uh, these tribes and uh, so they'll go and uh, man uh, they'll go missing and about five six months after uh, those uh, uh, who have the money uh, we'll call upon uh, famed anthropologist uh, Professor Monroe uh, to uh, take a trip and uh, a little rescue mission to see if he can't find the whereabouts or uh, ascertain what has happened to Ellen Yates and those he took with him. And uh, his fiance, I guess, is, uh, is one of them, Faye. And of course, you got Jack and Mark um, who uh, you know run the cameras and whatnot. And so together as a four member team, uh, they're notorious for going into uh, some pretty rough areas and um, and getting some pretty uh, pretty crazy documentaries, uh, whether on just war or just uh, whatever. And so um, they've gone missing. And uh, so Monroe, who uh, Professor Monroe, who is uh, very knowledgeable on uh, the people groups that would have uh, uh, been met, uh, he'll go and really the first the film is really broken down in I guess into two major pieces uh, first half is devoted to Professor Monroe and the second piece of course is uh, discovery and analyzing the lost footage uh, that will show us um, two extremes what's happened uh, to Alan Yates and not just um, in a very very unedited um, view of it because remember this all had Alan Yates and his uh, crew gotten back out alive, all this film they shot would have been um, sanitized and edited. And this is Ruggiero Diodato's main point, I believe, in this film is to, uh, it is a shot across the bow with those who would capitalize on people's miseries. And uh, because, you know, um, there's something wrong with us. Somewhere deep inside, there is just something wrong with us. And we gravitate to this stuff, um, some more than others, some less than others. But on whole, there's just something wrong. And so uh, Diodato got really took offense and wanted to, uh, he just, I guess, really wanted to, in, in the only way he knew how, create a film that was going to be a pronouncement uh, against this sort of activity. And uh, that comes uh, probably somewhat into, just at the beginning of the found footage, uh, you'll have a scene involving Alan Yates. Um, that, well, a couple of things. Um, a, a little more to the plot, I guess. Um, one of the things we're gonna find out very, very early on is that Alan and his crew were up to no good. I mean, they have this reputation for sensationalizing things and, and for staging things and doing things uh, in order to get the best footage. And so unfortunately, when they show up, we'll find out uh, as they meet the Yakimo tribe, which is the first tribe they run into, uh, who's not a cannibal tribe. It's the two tribes that war with each other further in the jungle, uh, the Yanomamo tribe and the uh, 
Shamatari tribe. One is the people of the tree and the other the people of the swamp. And so as Alan and his crew venture into the Yakumo tribe, they will literally take this tribe and they will turn it upside down on their way to the other tribes in hopes of getting just as much crazy footage of insane things. And let's just say their bloodlust is, is so intoxicating that um, they become blinded by it. And by the end, they'll meet a fate that probably matches what they've done, the sin that they've committed against these, these, these tribal people. And as Professor Monroe will, will prove, at least in terms of his character, um, he has the ability of making his way through the Yakumo all the way into the Yanomamo tribe and befriending them in such a way that he's able to get his hands on the canisters and is given a visual <laughs> as to what has happened uh, to Ellen Yates uh, and his fiance and the other two. And so he's able to uh, uh, leave with these canisters of film. And once you get back to New York City in the safe confines of city life, the um, civilization, right? They, um, him and uh, those network people will sit and they will start to go through this unedited film in hopes of, well, for them, at least the network, will is looking to basically put out whether, you know, Alan Yates and, and the others are dead or not dead. They still want to capitalize on this and they still want to make their documentary. But Monroe's position will be, let's just go through the footage first because this is probably not so great of an idea. And so the second half of the film will actually do that. And we will literally, through found footage, be immersed into the jungle and we will be confronted with some nasty business. I mean, you know, whether we're talking about the animal cruelty, the violence that is done on screen, um, or the violence done as perpetrated by um, the tribal people, not only against one another through ritual or just their own internal law, um, but also what would be per perpetrated between by the tribe back onto the uh, Alan Yates and his crew for, for their own acts of barbarity. And they, man, it is, you know, it is, uh, it's one of those movies that just yearns for discussion. I mean, real discussion because, you know, it, it, it's, I know Ruggiero, his main thrust is, is against journalism and the sensationalist aspect of it. But underneath, even deeper, I think, it also deals with man's, um, whether you want to call it sinful nature or not, there is something inherently wrong with us. And it's displayed really through the um, actions of Alan Yates and, and those around him because his entire crew really, I mean, even his fiance, you know, they all take part in this, whether they're raping and they're pillaging. Or, or they're turning these tribal these tribes up up on end in order to get something that they that they will make them famous I mean it's it's what what they do to these people is absolutely sickening and what this people is forced to do back I mean a la last house on the left almost I mean it's it's sickening as well but it, it's it's there's something genuine about this film that it harkens to almost almost realism in the sense that we sanitize everything in life. I mean, you know, do a good hardcore study on the French Revolution and you will see man's barbarism on full display or the Spanish Civil War or, I mean, consider, you know, I mean, even the Germans, I mean, you know, the so-called, you know, civilized people, maybe perhaps at the time, the, consider the most civilized, will wipe out six million plus Jews and that doesn't even count the rest, all the bloodshed committed uh, in just the 20th century alone by these totalitarian regimes and, and the, these communist regimes in Cambodia, I mean, I mean, and go back through all history and even the wars of religion, it just, it doesn't matter. I mean, man, there is something wrong. There always has been, at least for a very, 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 very long time. And this film does a lot to, to bring this realism to the surface in terms of the nature of man and whether whether it's 
you know, thought safe behind the walls of, of a city or deep in the heart of a jungle, um, man has this nature of cannibalizing each other. Um, and it really doesn't matter um, in what time period you're really talking about or who's committing the act of atrocity. This is a movie that, I mean, there's just this gritty realism that, I mean, yeah, it's not a movie that, you know, I, I'm not looking to, to pop this movie again for a very, 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 very long time, if ever. I mean, I don't know. It's, a, it's tough, but, I mean, even, with, and that's just separate of the animal cruelty. Um, you know, a lot is made out of the turtle sequence, but quite frankly, what gets me even more is, uh, I think it's Mark who shoots the pig, and there's just this, no reason, I mean, other than just to kill something, at least with the turtle sequence, we see the turtle being eaten. Um, set that aside, what, what they do in terms of literally raping a native girl and what the tribe feels compelled to have to do to rectify this internally is just, um, I, I mean, to say you're not cheering on these, I don't think anyone would be cheering on these natives for what they feel forced they have to do to Alan and his. It's, it's like they're, 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 they're forced into this pitch of, of cruelty by what's been done to them. I mean, this is kind of, uh, you know, I mean, Last House on the Left is kind of like that, right? Um, and I'm just, you know, I mean, I think about that. I've been thinking and thinking and thinking about this movie. And I could just go on and on and on and thinking about this movie. Um, but I, you know, in somewhat of a, a comical, um, I don't know. Uh, I was thinking, you know how crazy this would have been if Eli Roth would have really took a Diodato um, thrust with his uh, Green Inferno? That movie would have not able, it would have been able to be seen by people today. Um, that movie is extremely lighthearted compared to the grittiness of, that is um, Cannibal Holocaust. Um, there's just something about it that stresses this idea of realism. And, um, and there's, it's, a, it's an important film that ought to be talked about. Maybe not perhaps upon multiple, multiple, multiple viewings, but having been seen and by those who have seen it, it demands intelligent conversation because I think Ruggiero uh, Diodato has given us quite a lot to talk about and there is a lot to talk about um, you know how news and, and just how things are sensationalized and how you know man's inherently you know his, his human nature is just I mean there's just something wrong with it um, and what we're capable of doing to one another and what we do do to one another um, you know and and, and to a lesser degree, but just as important, um, how we respect life in general, whether that's in the form of um, animals or, or whatever. It's just how we value life, I guess, in the end. And maybe, aside from who are the real cannibals, maybe the question is how we ought to value life. And um, so, I don't know. I, I kind of rambled for a little bit, and I'm a little worried about my time, but um, I, I feel good about what I've said, I think. And um, I wish I could say more, but I'm probably just going to stop it here and just say, you know, this movie is definitely not for the squeamish, and it's definitely not one that I would say you ought to just go run and see. Um, but if you are a very serious film connoisseur who does not have a very squeamish stomach, then I would say, uh, for the sake of um, what Ruggiero Diodato has to say to us, um, it ought to be seen, I think, at least once, at least once, uh, whether it's in its more friendly version or not, um, it ought to be seen and it ought to be talked about. And so, uh, yeah, uh, I hope that made some sense. Um, Ruggiero Diodato's 1980 Cannibal Holocaust. Again, I'm your Wednesday night reviewer. Hope I said something of interest. Um, oh, and David Lewin's, um, his YouTube channel, you have got to visit that channel. Man, I'm telling you, he puts out, he puts out the Italian stuff, man. It's, uh, it's great stuff. And so his link will be down there. And uh, yeah, and uh, so uh, I think I found a happier note right here. Let's just leave on this. Go Bills.